Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor. Get to know your thyroid. Probably, out of all the conditions that come into our practice, we see more patients that are on thyroid medication nearly more than any other medication that anybody comes into the office with. You know, if your thyroid gland is not up to par, we have seen people have issues with depression. So right now you may be watching me say, Dr. Bob, that sounds just like me. I'm on thyroid medication and an antidepressant. Well, today we're going to focus on the thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is just nestled right here in the middle of your throat. It actually has two lobes, two portions that are connected by something called an isthmus. Your thyroid gland needs iodine. Iodine is critical for thyroid function. Let me throw out a few body signals and listen to me and you might want to replay this and just check how many of these items you may have and I talk about this in great detail. Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones and Dr. Bob's men's book, The Basics. These are the body signals. Cold hands and cold feet. Do you wake up tired? Do you wake up in the morning with a headache that goes away as the day goes on? Thinning, coarse hair. Constipation. High cholesterol. Depression. Thinning or loss of the hair on the outer eyebrows. Those are body signals to me of someone who may in fact have a low or subpar thyroid function. On the other hand, and it's not as common, are people who have hyperthyroid. The, the thyroid gland is going at a very fast rate. These individuals commonly tend to be very thin compared to people who have subpar thyroid function. Usually individuals that have subpar thyroid function, they tend to have a weight issue. They tend to be larger all the way around their body. Now, let's talk about how do you determine if you have subpar thyroid function or not. There is a test called TSH, Tom Sam Harry. TSH, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone, is released from a part of your brain called the pituitary gland. I normally like to see it to be greater than 2 and less than 5 or greater than 2 and less than 10 depending on the lab that you're using. If your TSH tends to be on the high side of your laboratory normal, that's a body signal to me that in fact you may in fact have a low thyroid gland that's due to your thyroid gland not responding to the TSH telling it what to do. On the other hand, if your TSH, Tom Sam Harry, is less than two, chances are that your thyroid gland is not secreting hormones like it's supposed to. That would be the thyroid stimulating hormone. And what I've learned from my experience, and this is so exciting for me to pass this on to you, when you're under stress, your body becomes in an acid state, acid being like vinegar. Your body requires two critically important nutrients. One is called selenium and the other is called manganese. Don't get that confused with magnesium, it's manganese. Selenium and manganese feed the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland makes TSH. We'll notice low TSH on a hair analysis, we'll notice the low selenium and manganese. That's one of the many tests that we can do. So there's two other tests. One is called T3 and the other one is T4. 80% of thyroid hormone is T4. It's 20% effective. Now this is significant. I want you to pull your blood test out and look at it and or talk to your healthcare provider and get a copy of it. Go back and listen to this over and over. T4 becomes T3 in your body. The most powerful thyroid hormone is T3. If you look at your blood test and your T3 is not close to being at least halfway point, I know you have a low thyroid gland 
even if you're taking Synthroid or some other type of thyroid hormone. Just because you're taking thyroid hormone does not support thyroid function. Actually, I've noticed people who are menopausal and who are on thyroid medication, they have a greater chance to have osteoporosis. We always will do an assessment with TSH, T3, and T4. There's one other blood test you can do called TPO, Tom, Paul, Odd. If your TPO is elevated, you may have a condition called Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition. We talk about this in great detail in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. Do not go off your thyroid medication. You may need to supplement with iodine. I personally take up to 12 milligrams of iodine every day. It has been estimated that the average Japanese person takes 12 milligrams of iodine every day in the form of sea vegetables and in seafood. So if you're not eating seafood and your blood tests are low and you have any of those body signals that I mentioned at the first part of the program, you want to seek and speak to your natural health care provider and or your prescribing health care provider and make appropriate and necessary lifestyle changes. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.